Okay, I'm going to show you how to fix a plastic gas tank puncture leak. I'm going to set the camera over here. And I've tried various tools, but I found the one that works. And I'm so delighted by how well it works that I'm putting it on a video. Okay, the leak, if you can see it, is right there. It's that little hole. I hope you can see it. I'll try and get a little bit better light. Let me move this camera. Okay. One more time. There it is that little hole right there. So what I'm going to do, here's a zip tie, <laughs> and I'm going to hold it at an angle. Uh, uh, yeah, like so. And a cheap $12 soldering iron and a zip tie. The first thing you want to do is kind of warm up around the hole. This soldering iron already has plastic in it from another hole I fixed. But you just kind of warm it up around the hole. This is not an expensive, this is a, not a very hot soldering iron, probably a 25 watt or something. They're like 10, 12 dollars. And huh, well shoot, no it's, it's not fixed yet. So then I, I grab that, put it right over top, and uh, a little plastic in there from the zip tie and uh, spread it out Put a little more down there yeah, you don't want a really hot soldering gun oh there's another thing <laughs> before you put this soldering gun to a hole in your gas tank you want to make sure that you air it out really good I don't think a soldering gun is enough to start a fire, but gasoline can be very, very volatile. It can really explode easily. Now, in this particular gas tank, there's a couple more of these holes. And so I'm going to address them while I've got the camera. Here, there's another one. This one doesn't go through yet. But I would expect it will in the near future. And uh, so, like I said, you kind of warm up the plastic on the tank, careful, and you don't want a really hot soldering gun because you'll go right through it. Just kind of want to soften it up a little bit, and then grab a little piece like that, yep. and just melt it into the hole. Yeah, like that. Almost like spreading a little bit of paste. And uh, if you need a little more, you know. Oops. This is so great. In this case, the zip tie happens to be the exact same color. <laughs> and, uh,. I'm not sure whether this would work for every plastic gas tank, but it's worth a shot because it's inexpensive. It takes a relatively short amount of time. You have to pretty much pull the gas tank. I would recommend it. Uh, this is on the lawnmower. And uh, here's, here's another one. So we're going to fix that one too. Yeah, I don't know where these all came from. Here's another one. I'm going to stop the video now and get back to work, I guess. Well, I'll fix this one. I forgot to heat up the plastic. When you do that, it fails to stick. little puncture holes are all over this gas tank. I'm not really sure what happened. I'm 
almost like a woodpecker or something got to it. Is melt down into the hole nice and easy. Now this is for puncture holes. I don't believe that this would work for large surfaces. No, it wouldn't. And uh, yeah, it's just for puncture holes. I'm gonna go ahead. I, I don't even think you could fix a, a, a leaking seal or something. I, I wouldn't necessarily try it, but it works great for puncture holes. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop the video now.